Will. And I'm Brandon. And today we are going to make a porcupine burger. But before that, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. And don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here, we have the porcupine meat all frozen up and ready to put in the grinder. Now we got the gray squirrel oil right here. Add it right in, bud. Best food in the kitchen of your hands. That's time for two burgers. Does that look like wild game meat? Is that here? We got the burgers. I put a little bit of squirrel oil in the bottom that they don't stick. We got another fire in the fire pit. We're gonna just bring over some of the burning logs to throw right inside here. And get this heated right up. We got some coals burning and we're gonna put it in to start the fire. Okay, got the tongs. If you have watched some of the other videos, these are tongs that I made. No, no. Uh huh. Feet on fire. Barefoot. Why am I doing this barefoot? Uh, Brennan? Uh, I got Crocs on. Uh, all, all melted plastic. That's even better. And to put it right on the heat. Smoke it right up. Let's check on the burgers. So Brandon just bushcraft this little hook out of honeysuckle. So let's look at that. All this fat that's in here. Let me say, stay tuned and subscribe. There's going to be some survival videos of eating nothing but wild food. And this fat right here, we're gonna use that. It's time to pull this off and look at that. Nice and crispy. Pull that off there, bud. I'm gonna add the mixed up salt now. The reason why I'm adding it now, not when it was cooking, is because in the challenge that we're gonna do this summer, we're gonna survive for five to 10 days of nothing but knowing where your food comes from. So subscribe if you wanna see that. We already have some toasted up sesame seed bread, some dandelion greens, and some chives in the garden. You can build it how you feel like. Now that looks like a delicious burger. Let's try the burgers. Very lean. It's like um, you know, the deal was like you have beef stone. There's the smoky. A little mutton type idea for it. Yeah, almost like a mutton flavor. So imagine like mutton crossed with the flavor of beef and make it really lean. How good was that burger? It was good. It was good? Would you eat it again? Yeah. The only way to eat it again, shoot another one. Yeah. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel or his channel, or press the round subscribe buttons to both of our channels to help both of us get to a thousand subscriber each. 
And next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.